Hello and welcome. These are guitars I have for sale. Uh, these, this is one I built. It's uh, based off a Rickenbacker 425. Uh, I painted it copper. It's got a black plate on it. And uh, anyway, uh, the pickup's really good in it. It's an Alnico toaster pickup. <laughs> somewhere need it shipped uh, of course I'm gonna have to charge for shipping but uh, it's made of maple this is all maple body you know maple neck you know rosewood all the fun stuff but it's got uh, volume tone it's got you know kill switch on here basically and uh, Rickenbacker would probably charge you thousands of dollars for something like this but you know it's 300 for me plus shipping uh, here's another guitar I made based on Rickenbacker. Uh, it's my, uh, I call it the uh, Psych Out Backer. I did a lot of psychedelic artwork on here, as you may see. And, that. and this body too is made of maple. Maple body, uh, toaster pickup, you know, all the fun stuff. And this one here is also a bolt on neck, like that one. But this one here, I'm asking uh, 450 for it because of the artwork. It's got beautiful artwork on there. You know, I'm an artist and I try to sell a lot of my art. But, you know, a lot of people, the problem is, is they don't see the art. They just see, oh, this is a guitar. It has no name on it. So I'll give you $20 for it. And, you know, I'm just going to part the thing out or give it to my kids to destroy. But, uh, no, this is uh, a, lot of, a lot of love went into this. So anyway, it's $400, $450 plus shipping. Beautiful guitar. <laughs> You know, like I said, you know, next can be adjusted. You know, if you don't like the pickups or the electronics, you can put your own in there, do whatever you want. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm selling this for $450 plus shipping. Beautiful guitar. This has uh, actually been sold, it's an electric uh, cigar box slider. I uh, got one of these kits, I put it together, and uh, I painted it. You know, there's a lot of hippies out there that are really cool that I like, that they, uh, you know, experiment with a lot of bluegrass music, and they use these. This is also electric. I don't have anything to slide it with, but... Anyway, this could be plugged into a portable amplifier if you want to busk on the street or something too. And uh, it's going to create a lot of attention. So anyway, uh, this one of these here I would sell for $100. Anybody wants me to make them one. And uh, not only that, I also make these two. I don't have a... A pickup installed in this one yet but these are uh, dibbly bows you also take a uh, you know the glass slider you know and play the blues or whatever this also has my artwork on it and instead of like a regular cigar box which people were you know way used to I decorate these things I try to make them you know look just look nice or whatever you know like even with the uh, neck on here what I did you know I uh, toasted it with a torch and it kind of looks a little rustic, you know, psychedelic. But uh, anyway, these are $80. I make these for $80. Uh, I mean, there's parts and, you know, there's labor and everything else. So if you want to buy one of these from me, they're $80. 
Uh, this here is a Squire Stratocaster I turned into a Fender. It's got an orange drop capacitor in it. I did work on the neck. Uh, the neck is very beautiful now. These Squires, the problem is when you get them new, they uh, come with these uh, necks that got the uh, frets sticking out and they slice the shit out of your hands. So uh, I did work on this, turned it into a fender. It's even got you know, a fender custom shop plate on there. You know, it plays beautifully. I actually I had a guy play this and thought it was a real fender and you know, I told him it was a square that I turned into a fender. It's got fender decals on here as well. So anyway, uh, this guitar I'm selling for $250 because of the work I put into it and the orange drop capacitor, which is a .047. It's uh, beautiful. It makes this thing sound better than what it did when I bought it. You know, I took out the old capacitor, put a better capacitor in here, and it sounds great. So anyway, uh, those are my guitars. I also make uh, you know, these little storage boxes and stuff. You know, this is just one of mine here that I made. Uh, I usually make these boxes for like $20 a box. So, uh, anyway, if you want any, want to buy anything from me, my uh, email address is uh, dxdamod74 at yahoo.com. Uh, if you want to buy something, we can work it out. This is another thing I'm doing for a friend of mine. It's in its early stages right now. Just a little uh, six-string banger he found and, you know, wanted me to do some work on it. But, you know, like I said, it's in its early stages. It's going to look a hell of a lot better by the time I'm done with it. So, uh, if you want boxes, you want to buy these guitars, you want me to make a guitar for you or something, uh, email me and we'll work out, work something out. Uh, I don't, really don't like doing overseas shipping because... A lot of money goes into that, and make sure you know what your shipping rates are where you live. Because I've had I had a problem before with a guy who uh, lived clear across the country, and the shipping at that time was $120, and he was mad because it was $120, and he stopped. Uh, actually, it was a guitar I sent to uh, a place called Love on Hate in uh, San Francisco, California. And uh, I sent the guy the guitar, and he just destroyed the thing and sent it back to me. And it, I was really upset about that because I had to put it back together and uh, redo it. I tried to sell it out here in Pennsylvania where I live, but the, these people out here, they don't appreciate, like, the art or anything. They just see a guitar, and they're like, well, I'll give you $20 for it. It's all it's worth, you know, and they'll uh, take it. They'll strip it out and... Uh, you know, they'll take the parts out and just give the guitar to their kids to destroy. And, uh, you know, I'd lose a lot of money on that. Because, I mean, it takes a lot, you know, building these things. Because, I mean, i got to order the parts. There's a lot of labor that goes into it. I mean, these bodies are really... Maple's really hard to work with. You know, especially when, you know, you don't have a CNC machine or anything like that. This, These were all made by hand. I mean, I actually got a jigsaw out I you know some regular saws and sandpaper and everything else I mean I have no machinery to do this these are handmade I mean handmade I mean there's no technology involved with these things they're all handmade hardcore handmade except for the squire of course but and uh this one here because this one here came from the kit but I still make these anyway from uh, cigar boxes and wood so, uh, either you can get a kit or I can just make you one straight out of the uh, cigar box and the wood. You know, and then I got to order the pickups and the parts and this stuff here takes like forever to get here sometimes. So, I mean, I, where I live at, it, there's no access to anything. So, it's really hard. So, anyway, if you want to buy anything from me, message me. We'll work something out. And uh, remember, it's dxdamod seven four at yahoo.com so anyway you want anything email me cheers <laughs>